At Primus, you know, we, we try to deliver excellence every day in what we do. And I'm reminded of a quote by Truett Cathy of Chick-fil-A. It says, success comes and goes, but excellence endures. And I feel like that's what we exemplify in our group in, in Primus Design is how we take that from beginning to end. Randy, what does excellence mean to you? Well, I know a lot of our competitors, they design and build a building to get beyond that one year warranty period. We don't do that. We design a building to a 20 year period. That's the kind of work we do and you've given us some great tools to be able to do that. How about you, Matthew? What would you say excellence means in Primus Design? In the design group specifically, you know, one of the things that I focused on in my, you know, my career as an engineer is, is acquiring knowledge and sharing knowledge. I've spent you know, an enormous amount of time learning engineering topics and also learning about you know, what the other disciplines do as well. And I think that you know, sharing information is really a powerful tool to help steepen the learning curve and increase productivity of, for younger guys like us because we can learn so much from people like you and Randy and the other guys who have been doing this for 40 and 50 years. If we're able to learn lessons from you guys um, where we don't actually have to realize the cost that's associated with that, I mean, I just think that that's a really a powerful thing. So when I think about excellence, I think about you know, knowledge being a key component of that, amongst many other things, obviously. And how about you, Cody? What, do you, what would that mean to you? The big thing for me when I first started here was just understanding the experience that we have at Primus from every discipline and understanding that the other twofold of that is that the collaboration piece is huge with us. I have Randy with me who's ha who has 30 plus years of experience. I have yourself, Jones, who has 30 plus years of experience. We have a multitude of people who have just 30 plus years of experience and it, I think it really carries us to that next level. And it really helps us younger guys really feel comfortable in the space knowing that we can always come to you guys and ask questions and then that then becomes into the collaboration of the project where I have myself who still feels that I can give my opinion, but then you guys also have your opinions and we can collaborate from there. For me, it's the Primus uh, way. The people, the processes, the technology of how we deliver excellence in our projects. When it starts with us, it's gonna ripple throughout the entire organization, all the way to our clients, and thus they're gonna have everything that they expect in their projects. I can't say it any other way, right? We just wanna deliver this excellence constantly and have that feeling that the project is exactly what they were expecting. So Matthew, you know, we talked a little bit uh, before about various uh, levels of experience, the ability that you have some new talent that you're coaching up, but likewise, you're getting a mentorship from Tony as a department head. You know, maybe talk a little bit about that. As I said before, I feel like, you know, the knowledge components, developing our skills and our talent and our ability to do our job better than our competitors is critical. And a huge component of that is mentorship. The relationship is not just, it's not just a one-way street with the mentor because younger guys like me and Cody, and no offense to you guys, but we, we also have, we also bring things to the table. We have value of our own. Um, you know, we come up in a different time period where perhaps maybe we have slightly better technical skills with new softwares and things like that. We may have different perspectives on how to approach challenges and solve problems that you guys may not have thought about. So I think that having an open-minded dialogue between everyone is helpful too for us to, like you, like you mentioned earlier, Mike, is just try to approach every problem and evaluate every potential solution so that we can optimize and we can, you know, bring the most value to our clients and ultimately build the best buildings. I just feel like, you know, that it's really important and I think that's something that we do really well at Primus and it's a key component of why we're successful. The whiteboard in my office is covered in sketches and drawings and I haven't done one of them. Yep. It's mostly been these two guys right here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that, that's what I want to see happen. And like you said, sometimes Matt proves me wrong and says, no, we really need to do it this way. And I'm open to that too. I, I think that's fantastic. What that tells me is our guys are getting more and more experience. And Cody's showing me up once in a while. <laughs> and I appreciate that too, you know, for that reason also, because I want him to know everything I know. On a daily basis for me with excellence is how knowledgeable our design firm is. And that's not just from architecture, we're talking structural, electrical, plumbing, mechanical. We have all these great disciplines and from the ripple to spread to everyone else as the people that are getting older want to retire, the people that are learning from those people that are going to retire are going to keep that ripple going. 
by um, encouraging them to want to learn more and then really just having us be a very collaborative and learning space. Yeah, and I think you're hitting on a really key component here for me, excellence is the people, right? So we have a great group, great, great team, a multidisciplined firm that then supports a you know, very strong construction delivery firm. And I mean, it's, it doesn't go any further than the excellent people we have. I mean, it's just plain as day. We've got a very strong team that delivers on that. So, um, you know, you can't say that enough. Uh, and I love that, like you said, the, the dialogue on your marker board. Uh, I have the same thing. We, we'll do sketches on marker boards to try and explain a problem and, uh, you know, illustrate something for the team. So, yeah, that's, that's been really helpful for me. I've learned a lot from, you know, other folks that are, you know, not, not instructional, you know, and I think that's another really key component to why we work so well. I think the fact that we work so closely together, you know, in, in, from an interdisciplinary standpoint is also likewise, it helps to streamline our process and us for us to avoid pitfalls before we even come up to them because the more that we learn from each other about what the other folks are doing, the better able we are to, you know, to have designs that are almost coordinated before we really get into the detailed coordination because I kind of know more about what Randy's expectations are. And like Randy said, you know, we're always in there talking and batting stuff around and this guy, I've learned so much from him. But, you know, because we're design build, we're all working so closely together. I think what you see in, you know, a lot of other places is everything's very siloed and there's kind of, it's not as transparent. There's not that open sharing of information. And that's really powerful. You know, I think we do a great job of that at Primus. You know, I've been doing this a long time. 50 years this year. I have never worked at any design firm that had the chemistry that we do. We mesh so well because we're focused on the end product and we know that's the most important thing. I wish I'd thought about it sooner, but I really have not thought about that before. And I've been here 13 years. <laughs> but it's been that way the whole time. Yeah, I think for me, it really kind of goes back to the process. I think our group has developed a very strong, repeatable process with a certain number of steps that just can't be violated. And as long as we go through that series of steps that we know the design that we're gonna deliver is going to be that display of excellence that our clients expect of us. And ultimately we can stand behind as Primus and say, hey, we're very proud of this work. It represents the best of what we're able to do and uh, can stand by that. Again, repeat business speaks for itself. Um, you people have the trust in what you're going to do for them and that in and of itself, you know, speaks volumes. Mm -hmm.